Welcome back. You guessed it. I'm back in another Sprint Enduro, but this time we're in L.A. That's L.A. is in Lower Alabama. Butler, Alabama to be more specific. This is the Tuscahoma Crossing Sprint Enduro on July 10th, 2022. But before we get started, let's check in with a couple of the guys from the 60 plus and the 66 plus class where we've got a rivalry brew. Hey Clarence, what's your strategy to beat Charles and uh, Chris today? I thought about it all last night and talked to everybody that's real fast and A-Rod and I come to the conclusion I just need to T-bone him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way I know. Just If I can even get close, just throw the bike at him and that's it. That's that's my plan for today. So what do you think Charles said when I asked him that same question? Oh, he has all sorts of strategies. <laughs> he probably said he was on a trail ride. I'd like to know what he said, actually. My class is not in my class. He wasn't in my class? Yeah. Yeah. It, you know what? That's what he says yeah. right up until the race is over, and he comes riding over in my pits and goes, My lap time faster than yours. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> Charlie will let you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that his overall lap time is a little faster than yours. Hey, Charlie! Charlie, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. you got any words of wisdom for us today? No. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see how that turned out. It's not quite as hot as the previous two races, but it's still a very hot and humid Alabama summer day. This is a sprint enduro format. If you're not familiar, sprint enduros are a race against the clock. Riders are organized in rows of four and sent out one at a time, 15 seconds apart. In today's race, we have two tests. We'll do three loops on each test for six time sections. The lowest cumulative time wins. I'm racing in the C40 Plus class today, and I'm competing against seven riders. We have two Hondas, two Yamahas, one Husqvarna, one Beta, and one KTM. That was Carolyn from Dirt Bike Mama YouTube channel. So check out her channel. She does a great job of these videos. This area is called Rocco's Route. We ran this in the other direction at last year's race at this location. I guess since we're running it the other way now, we can call it Rocco's Revenge. This trail has a lot of thick underbrush that prevents you from looking very far ahead so the turns can catch you off guard. It's a great warm up to get started on. This area did get some rain the night before the race so the dirt conditions are really good. That's Cooper Curry, and he's getting set up to do some follow cam videos, so you can check that out over on the Dirt Bike Mama YouTube channel. The single track here is really awesome. The trails don't get raced on a lot, and it shows. These trails have been in excellent condition both times I've raced here. Being in the southern half of the state, there aren't a lot of hills, but the single track layout here is outstanding. Caught up to Patrick Free and he's in the C40 Plus class with me. He's starting on row five a couple of minutes ahead of me. He told me after the race this was his first sprint enduro and he might have said it was his first race but I can't remember. Anyway, it's great to welcome new folks in and he's riding well. sandy area by the creek is a cool section. I think that's Ronald Walters on the KTM. Hopefully that's right, but thank you, sir, for letting me by. Thank you. Yeah. Woo. All right, let's see where I'm at. Currently in first, but still a lot of riders haven't completed that test yet, so... I completed test one, loop one in 18 minutes, eight seconds, and I'm leading the C40 plus class. Jared Fryman's in second, and Patrick Free is in third. Dwight Thrasher is right on Patrick's heels, only three seconds behind him. How'd you do on that one, Randy? I didn't fall down. <laughs> All right. Huh? How'd you do on that first one? Did really good. Good. Had a lot of clear creek. Yeah. That's pretty tight, isn't it? On the red trail, it is. Yeah. 
Now it's time for test two, loop one. This test is very similar to test one, but a little bit faster. I really enjoyed this test. It had some faster flowing sections. There's a rider down. He was stuck under his bike for a second. You all right, Mike? That's my friend Mike Land in the B50 class. There was some really good grass track near the end of this test. It was a ton of fun. Finished test two loop one in 18 minutes 57 seconds and I'm still in first place with a cumulative time of 37 minutes 6 seconds. Jared's still in second place but Dwight's moved up to third and Patrick dropped to fourth. Mike Reedy moved up to fifth place. Hey that one's a ton of fun. Is it? Yeah it's really good. Better than that first one? Yeah. More open? Yeah. A lot more open, a lot really fast. It's, it's good. Some really slick spots but it's good. Y'all have fun. Let's see, 10.08, 10 10.27, we got about 20 minutes, 19 minutes. Mike Lamb, you all right, buddy? <laughs> all right, I'm back for the second loop on test one. Big thanks to Carolyn for sharing that clip with me. Completed test one, loop two at a time of 18 minutes, 21 seconds. Jared's still in second. Patrick has moved back up into third place. Patrick and Dwight are having a good back and forth battle for third. There's Mike Land again. It's good to see him up on two wheels this time. I'm not sure why he's wearing Mason Vines jersey, but uh, I'm thinking he might have spent all his money on that new bike and needed to borrow a jersey. I'm joking, Mike. I'm joking. The rest of that test was pretty uneventful, so I'll jump right to the results. I completed test two, loop two in 18 minutes, 53 seconds, with a cumulative time of one hour, 14 minutes, 21 seconds. Jared's still in second place. Dwight has moved back up to third place, so that battle between him and Patrick continues. You okay, Mike? Yes, sir. You're getting a lot of video of me today, though. Yeah. Last two tests went well. I had a total time of one hour, 52 minutes and 50 seconds for the race and finished first place in my class. Jared Fryman finished second and Patrick Free was able to move back up into that third place spot. Here are the C40 plus point standings for the season so far. We've got a break in the Sprint Bureau schedule until the end of August. The next race on my calendar is the Southeast Cross Country Association nine hour endurance race on July 30th. If you're curious how it turned out for Charles and Clarence, Clarence had a better time on four out of the six loops. Charles made a charge in test two loop two and test one loop three, but it wasn't enough. 
Clarence beat Charles overall time by a little over two minutes. As always, if you enjoy these race recap videos, please let me know that by commenting below and hitting that like button. That really helps me out. Thanks for watching. Let's go get it. What time is supposed to be there? 27. 12 27. We leaving too early, you think? <laughs> no. You get that vine out from behind you, frog it. I mean, you up. All right. I don't think it would hurt anything. I doubt it. <laughs>